What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Monday the 23rd of March. i just come over to the studio just after Boris Johnson's announced that the UK is now under complete lockdown. So this vlog is going to be very quick. We spent the majority of yesterday cleaning the whole house completely. I carshed all the outside of the house, uh, disinfected everywhere, put the hot tub back up. Uh, the kids wanted to get in it because they're just bored, just a bit of recreation. But Unfortunately, it's got like three or four holes in it. I repaired a couple of the holes. They got in it for like 10 minutes and then it just deflated straight away. So I'm gonna have to order that, but not at the minute because this is now quite serious. And um, for those people that are watching, this isn't gonna be, no, this isn't gonna come across because I can't even get my words out properly. What I'm saying is people that are still going out in, large numbers or they're going out for any other reason than to just get some essentials that they need or to nip for work need to stay in the house because this is not going to get any better like Boris has just said until everybody starts listening and starts being responsible and stops being selfish and keeps going out all the time um, I, I don't know if I've mentioned on, on this vlog but you might be thinking well you're over here at the studio yeah, until the courier companies stop, I'm not going to stop working because this is what I do. Um, and at the minute, people are staying at home and people that are staying at home want to build props because it passes the time and somebody that wants like um, a kit or something like that, that's gonna pass the time for them while they're in the house. Not everybody wants to watch TV. Not everybody wants to sit on their hands while they're at home. People want to do things. And the other thing is as well, we've just received a notification from the government that they are going to be sending us files for ventilator halves. So I will be producing ventilator halves for the NHS. We don't know how big they are. We don't know how many we'll be able to produce. This is a completely us doing it as a, as a I'm not even going to call it a gesture of goodwill. It's something that I haven't got a problem with doing. It is something that I haven't got a problem with saying, yes, I'll do it straight away. I was sent it by multiple people, the link for it. Um, we applied for it and they've got back to us. Um, if people don't stay in the house, um, the NHS, like Boris said, are going to be overwhelmed. They haven't got enough ventilators at the minute. And if that happens, then it's going to have a knock-on effect for people that have got cancer, for people that are dying, for people that are coming in A and E. It's just going to, it's just going to explode. It's just going to be ridiculous. So, you know, I, I went out earlier today. I had to go and get uh, some baby milk for Aurora, and I also had to get some milk for us because the shops now are doing like one bottle of milk each. I mean, we can survive on a bottle of milk for two days. Uh, Aurora obviously has to have a bottle of milk. Uh, uh, box of milk lasts her about a week and a half, two weeks, because she only really has two bottles now of milk. But I'm seeing large groups of families out walking. Why? Why are they doing it? I, I don't understand it. And where we live, it's like, it's in the Pennines, and it's the outskirts of Greater Manchester. It actually is in Greater Manchester, if you Google it, Mosley. Um, and people are out walking, but not like just walking on their own, like, um, the Prime Minister said that we could go out once for exercise. They're going out in like groups of mum, dad, and like, you know, little Johnny and um, and Beatrice and, um, you know, the dog and everything else. They, they, it needs to stop because if it doesn't, and it explodes, and then that family that have gone out and that have gone, oh, it's not going to affect me, it's not going to be... If something happens to them, they're going to be annoyed and they're going to be pissed off about it. So, I don't know, this is a short vlog. I'm just going to warn everybody now, we don't know <clears throat> what we're going to be doing in the coming weeks. Um, obviously, we're going to try and get a, a vlog up every day because that's what we say we're going to do. We don't know what the content's going to be like. We don't know what we're going to be doing. We don't know what's going to happen from day to day. We haven't got a clue. I know we received a phone call today from the travel agents because we were supposed to be going to Disney this year. Do you remember? We were supposed to be going for a month. They've told us today it would not have happened and that's in August. We were going in July until August, that weren't going to happen. So we've moved the dates now to next year. We think we're going at the beginning of the July. Fingers crossed everything's going to be sorted out by then. We had other 
things planned for the week. This week had just gone, we were supposed to be going to Gulliver's World. Thankfully, Groupon have told us that they've moved the booking. They've now moved the time scale of it, or the, uh, the validity of the tickets, to August. I mean, being genuinely serious, I don't see this being sorted out till the end of the year, if not going into 2021. It's, it, it's something that's never going to be seen again in a generation and hopefully it'll never be seen again as bad as it is now. I think we're, we're beh behind. We're, we're in the UK, we're supposed to be innovative, we're supposed to be ahead of everybody else and then Spain, Germany, Brussels, we've got um, uh, France, Italy, they're all on complete lockdown. You literally can't go out. And I know they're implementing fines now as well, so if you go out, I had a guy who wanted... He, he's, he lives locally, he lives in Stockport, he wanted to come and pick this up, this is a DLT19 and he messaged me and said, can I come over and pick up the DLC19? I said, no, we'll have to post it to you. You don't need to leave your house to come and pick up a rifle when it can be sent through the post that's, that's a, a replica and a kit from Star Wars because if you get pulled by the police, you're gonna get fined. They're gonna say, what have you gone out for? Well, I've gone out to get this plastic rifle. I don't think so. Write him a ticket and I've said to him, and you would be, it'd be right if they gave you a fine for it. We're still waiting on what's going on in this studio for rent relief because obviously there's, there's people and companies in here. I've just been speaking to the sheet metal company downstairs. Uh, he's closing. He's closed for minimum at least three weeks. So what happens to the three weeks? Where does the rent go? You can't pay rent on a building where you, you can't work. It's not that he doesn't want to work. He can't work. It's impossible. He can't do it. So, <coughs> I've started getting a cough, I've started getting a headache, I checked the temperature, it's at 35.9, so it's not, I don't think it's that extreme, um, I'm just going to keep an eye on it obviously, but we are taking it deadly, deadly serious as everybody should be, we've got 10 children, 8 of them live with us, so we've got 8 people to look for, I feel so sorry for Imogen, she's just started at McDonald's, well she started 3 months ago before Christmas, um, or just after Christmas, I can't remember. She's now been told that they're closing McDonald's completely. Uh, they don't know when they're gonna open up. And because Imogen's on a zero hour contract, she now isn't gonna get paid. She's just took her contract out for a mobile phone with her dad. She's got other things. She had a holiday booked in August. We've told her she needs to try and get the money back for a holiday. It doesn't look like the holiday's gonna go forward in August. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, my head is hurting. I've spoke to my mum. I don't want my mum leaving the house at all. Um, I've even touched base with my brother, who I don't speak to. I messaged my brother and said to him, um, "You know, I hope everybody's doing all right. I hope everybody's fine. If you if if you need anything, if we can help, we can help. If anything, it should be bringing people together. It should be bringing a community together. I also seen on the news the other polar opposite of it, of a nurse who'd been in work all night and came out and uh, back." Um, window of a car had been put through. I mean, uh, you know, uh, it's embarrassing and it's disgusting as well. Luckily, and you know, thankfully, a um, auto glass company came out and repaired it for free because that's what people are doing. There is this, it, it, there's more good than there is bad. And the ones that are bad are just spoiling it for everybody and, and there's no reason for it whatsoever. So with that said guys, and sorry for the rant, I'm just very, very passionate about this at the minute. It's not good what's going on. Everybody please stay safe. Thank you for the lovely messages that you've all sent us. It means an absolute ton to us, especially Sarah and the kids, and, and me also as well. It, not making it sound like it doesn't to me, but obviously to the kids and Sarah, it's really nice when people are looking out. We had a, 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 Sarah had a lovely phone call the other day from, um, I think she called Holly, who said if you need anything for the kids, just let her know and she'll get it across to us. It's, it's that kind of spirit um, I've also seen other channels as well who, who, are, who, who are making care packages and sending them out it, it's amazing when you see that side of it and that side of humanity it really is but then there's the other side of humanity which isn't very nice so with that said guys I am going to end today's vlog bear with us we will get through this together so do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day. <laughs>